Let's take a look at another family of curves, r equals a cosine b theta, or r equals a sine b theta, where b is greater than or equal to 2, and it's an integer. These graphs are called roses. Each of them is sort of a flower shape. Now, one of the things I'm going to do um, right now is look for the symmetry of graphs that use sine, a sine b theta, because I'll be graphing this kind of, uh, of rows. So first of all, I plug in negative theta, and I get a sine of negative b theta. And recall that sine's an odd function, so we can pass the minus sign outside. We get negative a sine of b theta. And that's exactly the opposite of r. And recall that if negative r negative theta is in the graph of my curve, then this graph's going to be symmetric about the y-axis because this is a reflection of the point r theta about the y-axis. So we get symmetry about the y-axis. Now, if we were graphing roses with a cosine function, we get symmetry across the x-axis. But in this lesson, I'm going to graph entirely roses with the sine function.